Yo. What is up, my sexy second mother lovers? What if I got men watching? Are we gonna call them sexy too? I don't know. <laughs> How y'all doing, second mother lovers? Thank you guys for tuning in to this good old video. So, this video is about to be about something that all of us need to hear, whether we want to hear it or not, and it's about our health. A lot of us, for New Year's resolution, you know what? I'm going to be right. I'm going to get my life together. I'm going to go work out for two days, and then you're back to normal. Okay, so me and my sister in crime... Quay the Canary Diamond, make sure you guys go check her out and sub to her because she is always posting food, like great healthy ideas, you know, different, you know, tricks of the trade just to help you to get past, you know, those humps of needing extra salt or needing extra sweets. Okay, so with that being said, this is a video about changing your lifestyle. It's not about dieting or whatever. And I know some of you guys are looking like Trinity, girl, you ain't got no room to be talking up. Uh, Yes, boo-boo, I do. I just know how to hold and hide it well. If it's time for a picture, we all know side, suck, and go. You already know. Right, right. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of putting on different clothes, and I'm kind of, like, uncomfortable because the clothes aren't fitting me right. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to show you guys what I have on right now to what outfits I call hiding the problem and I'm tired of hiding it I want to look good naked I want to make sure that when I put on the bikini I'm not I can breathe without wondering if my stomach is hanging over the bottom part and I have to be like refugia when they ask me do I have on bottoms that's just wrong and disrespectful so I don't want to be rambling but I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips and challenge you guys to you know possibly start with me and it's not about oh you know if you cheat and all this stuff whatever it's just simply about changing your lifestyle and your eating habits and your your exercise routine one day at a time and it's not a drastic thing a lot of people just say you know what i'm starting my diet today and then they just cold turkey i'm that person this is kind of like cigarette smoke you know and i've never been a smoker before but i know you gotta have to wean yourself off of it i feel like overeating is a disease i feel like it's the same thing you have to weed yourself off so with that being said last weekend um i actually just kind of started slowly but surely changing my eating habits like i started mid last week but i kind of just kind of trinkled into it and the reason why i'm posting this video now is to give you guys the opportunity to do the same and then maybe possibly by monday you'll be ready to start my target goal don't y'all judge me i actually want to lose 15 pounds my ideal weight that i want to be is 155 now i'm going to get on the step scale and let you guys see what i weigh now somebody gonna be lying on that scale now i'm a little bloated now tmi i understand but you know we got unflowers just coming up into town and stuff you know and you know how she do she be adding all that water weight on you and stuff oh disrespectful ass but you know whatever so anyway and I, I you know i want you guys to travel along this and i'll be posting you know i'm actually going to post a video about the foods that i purchased and um videos you know just different little tips and tricks on how you can maintain and keep going forward uh one one of the things i will tell you guys of course you know that you have to clean out all the bad food my guilty pleasure chips and dip I saved these two. I've been holding on these two to just do the video. And sometimes you got to have drastic measures. I read somewhere that somebody said, you know what, when in doubt, you feel like you can't get rid of something, but you just need it there, put Windex on it. Just spray a little Windex and let's see how you like it when you have some doggone chemicals in your mouth. You ain't going to like that. you get over that habit real fast, right? But I'm not, I don't need to do that. I'm actually going to be throwing this away. I just literally had it for this video. But that's step one. You got to clean out your part. You got to clean out whatever you have that's bad. You know, you just got to get rid of it. If you have like kids or if you have people that like, y'all like, oh my God, Trinity is not just me. It's hard because I got to buy the kids of Foodie Pebbles. First of all, you need to be changing their eating habits too. But if it's certain things that they just insist on having, so be it. But make sure you have a variety or something where if they're eating that, you have something that you 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 like that is just as good but healthy that will substitute for you not eating on no fruity pebbles or nothing like that. One other thing that I think is very important is that you have to have choices and variety. Like, okay, choices and variety is the same thing. Y'all get what I'm saying. When I'm saying choices, I mean today you may want fish, tomorrow you may want chicken. When I'm saying variety, you may want baked chicken. You may want chicken that got some uh, marinade on it that is a healthy marinade. You know, stuff like that. So that's what I mean when I say you got to, because if you get to a repetitive point where you're just eating turkey, spinach, 
turkey with some spinach and some spinach with some turkey. After a while, you're going to look up, you're going to have a burger with some turkey and bacon on it. And then you're going to feel good about life. And see, that's, and then you're going to feel bad the next day. So we just have to really work on changing those habits, so to speak. And so one thing I'm doing, I'm a realist. I'm like starting, I gradually want to get up to working out four times a week. I've already worked out two times. I mean, it is just Tuesday, but sorry. I'm a realist of, you know, trying to get to my goal. I have completely cut out weights. I'm only going to be doing the elliptical machine. I'm trying to get up to 45 minutes on the elliptical machine at a high pace, you know, to where I'm just uh, pumping and getting. I'm pumping and I'm getting. So that is my goal. The most that I think I've gotten up to so far is 37 minutes. You know, I did work out some last week too. So um, another thing that I think is a good tip is to have a good playlist. And you know, you have to find new ways. Like I love to dance. So Adrena Newman, if you guys actually Google her or put put her in on YouTube, you'll find that she has a lot of workout videos and a lot of stuff where she's giving you guys like dance, like recently she has one for suit and tie and like I got that one down so it's good to just give yourself a variety on how to work out you know and get that sweating and all that going change your way of thinking that is another one because if you think that you're on a diet and if you think you're punishing yourself then that is going to be the results that you come up with because you're gonna always feel that oh I can't eat what I want to because I gotta be on this diet no you need to think about I cannot I'm not eating this stuff because I want the body more than I want the food you have to change your way of thinking or you're you going to keep going back to this place where oh I slipped up a little bit and you're just gonna keep slipping up and getting back where you are so change your way of thinking most importantly have fun get creative with ideas google recipes look on pinterest ask your friends you know we can have a little little forum going on or something on this on this video or something to where you guys are getting new ideas like i am always on pinterest and always on google and always talking to quay about different ideas what can i do now what can you know whatever one good thing about me i don't like sweets really like so i'm not that person that craves chocolate cake and you know cookies and stuff i don't like that but salt baby give me some chips and some dip i'm good for life here so that's my issue so whatever it is you're just gonna have to work through it we can help each other you know we just gotta all get along and do this right because i mean it's time it's just time for a lifestyle change not a diet a lifestyle change so anyway second my lovers i would love for you guys to tell me if you're already doing something towards your fitness goals and if not do you plan on doing something and if so give me some ideas of you know share your ideas below or you know if you have any questions for me please feel free to ask them so right now i am so into the flow look i like things that are going to hide my stomach flow over it and boom this is what's under it and you know this is what i do i love finding stuff that's kind of covering up my butt because a lot of times my pants do not stay down rude and disrespectful but yeah this is what i'm talking about the pulling and the tugging on outfits and stuff you know i'll get it girl you better get it girl but yeah so i don't like that really we gonna strip this is what we're gonna do oh. but anyway yeah this i'm just showing you guys like my arms people say that they look all fit but i still have a little bit of fat in them so you know i want this part right here this needs to go this is the problem area. How, oh, Lord? Now I'm gonna show you guys the dirty truth. What is beneath the clothes? Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the clothes that you are gonna see me in the nude. I told Quay the Canary Diamond that you have to bring it all out, so you know exactly what what you're working with. And this, see that? Disrespectful. When I bend over. I don't like that. That is way too much to be holding on like. That is just so disrespectful. This side right here, I shouldn't be able to grab this like that. That needs to go. I don't like my posture. I don't like how I look from the side. And this back fat, I don't like those rolls. I don't like that you see no arm to me. Like, I look like from the back to me, I look like I don't have no booty. Like, in my eyes. That got to go. I don't like having big lips on the side. What is this? What are these Big Mac rolls on the side? Those look like two buns on the side. Don't appreciate that at all. But that is just really the problem. My stomach, I have vitamin D deficiency, like where my vitamin D is low, so that has something to do with it, but still. And you guys see, I still do have flab, although my arms look firm, I do have some type of flab. But I'm upset. 
So now I'm going to do a little measuring so I can know where I am with inches because I feel like it's important when you're not losing the weight that you would like to lose that you get an idea of your inches so you can stay encouraged if you do lose an inch or so. I was trying to wrap it around my gut to make sure I was accurate. I am just so disappointed in myself because I just, you know, I kind of played the turtle and the, the rabbit and tortoise thing where I was like, oh, okay, I got time, you know. And I looked up and I was right back at this place again. Disrespectful. So, my good old baby gut, it's, a, it's at 37 inches. We, we at 37. I need to bring all that down. I don't even know what my ideal inches would be. I just needed to leave. When I start seeing a piece of a pack, I'm not, I'm a realist. I could take a three and a half pack to a four pack. I don't even need a whole six one, you know, just with your three pack. It's cool. I'm not greedy. I wanted to measure my thighs too because there was a little flab on the inside. So, yeah. So my thighs are measuring at about 24 and a half. I don't, um, I did not measure my hips, boo for me, but, oops, next time. I don't know when I start seeing my booty better how I was doing. That's how I'm going to know. And my neck, I was measuring my neck because on my fitness pal, it says like your neck and all this stuff. And so I decided to measure my neck. So by the way, I'm on my fitness pal, duh. And my name is Trinity Comedy. If you guys want to add me, I put in all my meals and stuff so you can see what I'm eating daily. And maybe it'll give you some ideas. So my neck is measured at about 13 and a half. Yep, about 13 and a half, right, right between 13 and 14. Too much. That's when we're going to go to the conclusion. I'm mad. I'm going to start working out right now. I'm going to do Kanja. It's a whole bunch of Kuga, Karate, and Jumanji. Just get mad and do something about it. So this is my first weigh-in. I actually was 171 last week. This week, I am 170.4. I just wanted to add pictures so you guys can really see what I'm working with. This is my stomach. Live and in the nude. I'm so disappointed. It just honestly it looked like I'm about two and a half, four months pregnant. Like that is just disrespectful. I was gassy. Rest in peace to this good here body because honey, you can't come back. Look at this. Like I am disgusted at myself. Like I'm really mad. But look at me. I look mad. But this is the only way for me to really get serious. I need to put myself out there. Well, second my love, there you have it. This is the video. It's a lifestyle change. Are y'all ready? Wait, lifestyle change. Did I do that right? Okay, we're doing it right. So anyway, second my love, thank you guys for watching. As always, I believe I rambled long enough. I'm out. Dear baby gut, you can exit stage left.